Students at Western Michigan University continue to peacefully protest in support of a ceasefire in Gaza. They also want Western to pull funds with businesses and companies that are funding Israel. We'll demand that they divest from those companies and that they take a stand and, you know, protect their Palestinian uh, faculty and students because there are a lot of them here. However, it may be more complex than just pulling the plug on funding. All of these businesses in our globalized world are very much intertwined. And so understanding who's doing business in Israel at any given time is very, very difficult to do. Chris Marsicano, an assistant professor of education at Davidson College, explains universities invest in bits and pieces of different companies, and it's very difficult to determine which ones are or aren't involved with Israel. Pulling funding out of one company could result in a university losing several other means of funding. When you're investing in a fund that takes out weapons and weapons manufacturers, there are companies that may be in that fund that do business with those weapons manufacturers. And so it's really, really hard with such an integrated and um, completely focused world uh, to pull apart the individual pieces. However, Wagner says losing those investors may be worth it in the end. 70% of the country supports a ceasefire resolution. So, you know, they need to look at those statistics and realize that by taking a stand, they would potentially gain a lot more investors in the universities.